Hi there, welcome to the ninth video of uh, this series and here we will talk about the sort values in the Python data frame. Right, so as usual, let's go ahead and uh, import the pandas library by pressing the shift enter or control enter, whichever you like. And uh, now let's read the Excel file and show the first two observation. So control enter to execute this. I have been using it from past couple of videos. So I think I'm, you are pretty much used to of it. I'm not explaining the entire functionality, what it is doing. All right, uh, here are the columns. So it has successfully imported the data. Now let's uh, sort the ascending, sorting the ascending in ascending uh, order. So what we are doing is taking this particular column and or sorting this sorting the values of this column all right so here is the column that we have sales dot sort values and as you can see its values have been uh, sorted in the ascending order all right now let's see some other example in action if i go down quickly and see some piece in action all right so here we have again the sales and sort values and now we are sorting in the descending order that means the biggest values first and lowest values in the end so what we need to do is specify the ascending is equals to false if by default it is true but if we need a descending order then we need to specify ascending is equals to false and to get the top five values or the first five values we need to use the hat hat as i have shown you or i have explained you in my previous videos as well give you the first five observations and you can specify any number like 10 or 15 to get the desired number of rows from your data frame so i'll just go ahead and get the five rows all right uh, here i should get the first five rows one two three four five that means the top five sales values from my sales column okay and uh, now let's sort those columns that has space that means columns like order date since uh, those columns which don't have space in their words they use the dot notation but in case of such columns we need to use this bracket notation and within the bracket we need to specify the column name and then sort values and head just to indicate the first five values so if i go ahead and execute this it will give you the first five order dates to you all right next thing is uh, basically sorting the entire data frame so far we have seen only the column values but let's say we want to sort the values by sales and we want entire data frame to have that impact so to do that you need to say orders then dot not the column name but directly specify sort underscore values and then specify the column name sales into it to make that impact Earlier, if you remember, over here we have said orders dot sales dot sort value. That means impact was only on sales, but here sort value is attached to this orders. So that's why the impact is on the entire data frame. And here we are specifying with which column we want to make an impact. So with the sales column, we want to impact. So let's go ahead and execute that. Here, now we have the sorted data frame as you can see 2.24 3.20 and all the other observations have been sorted accordingly now let's see how we can sort in uh, in descending format or a descending order so if i go down and here i should have my command sales ascending is equals to false if you remember from the previous fun command this will give us the descending order 
So if I go ahead and execute this, now it should have the biggest values first and sorted accordingly. So as you can see, 89,000, 45,000, 41,000, so on and so forth. So now my data set is sorted as per the descending order. After that, I have uh, an example how you can use the multiple values and then sort it in the required format, whether ascending or descending. So here descending is equals to false. That means we want, sorry, ascending is equals to false. That means we want descending order. All right. So main idea is that this is the way using the bracket notation you can give multiple columns based on which you want to sort the entire data frame. So let's go ahead and execute this. And now our data set will be sorted as per the these two columns, sales and discount. So that's pretty much all I have for you in this video about how you can sort any single column or with the help of a single column, the entire data set, ascending or descending order, all of those things and get the output in the required format.